This is not what I had planned for my day. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to X-Life. Last episode, I upgraded my house and did some decorating. We now have a beautiful pastel crafting area, an entire wilderness wall dedicated to the froggy throne, a glorious fish tank for Fernando the seahorse, a super pink bedroom with a secret library, a big empty area and an embarrassing basement. So today I thought we should take care of those embarrassing parts of my house, starting with this blank space up here. So here now we can start adding some fan art. So here is one from Ponkables. This one is from Cloudy Myth. And finally, some glorious stitch art because it would be a sin to have no stitch in this house whatsoever. Now let's get some fairy lights. Let's also put in a nice sofa and some flowers. And finally, I think here it'd be really cute to add a rug that is inspired by the colors of a wandering trader. So let's see what this looks like. <gasps> Fabulous. Now, if a wandering trader spawns, maybe I can invite him inside for some tea and he'll actually give me a good deal for once. And now let's move on to the basement. So, makeover time. One eternity later. Ta-da! I hope you guys like the spooky, old-fashioned vibes in here. From the granny wallpaper to the cobwebs and the oil lanterns. This place is very different from the upstairs of my house, which is very bright and colorful. But that's because this place has a secret. I'm gonna add in a secret doorway. So in this gap here, I'm gonna put some stairs. There. Now we have a somewhat disguised secret area. Let's just disguise that a little bit more with some random clutter. And now we can start working on my secret basement where I keep all my inventions and things that make me super powerful. So here I want to have a room full of tiny mob farms. Now these are a really handy invention that will allow me to capture the mob inside the farm and then I can just collect the loot with no danger. But first, let's switch up the color scheme in here to yellow. 12 seconds later. Then, now since the walls are all yellow, I think it'd be really cute to go for a pumpkin theme in here. So I saw these mini jack-o'-lanterns. So that is what I'm gonna use to light this place up. So let's carve up a pumpkin and turn that into a jack-o'-lantern and combine it with these vines to make sad jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, so cute. <gasps> Can you hang them from the ceiling? Oh my gosh, they're so cool hanging from the ceiling. I need more. I love it. Now this place is ready for some mob farms, but there's just one problem. The crafting recipe is kind of insane. I would need multiple blaze rods, and I would probably be on about seven hearts by the time I get all those. So instead, I'm gonna go over to Spawn to Whip's shop where he is selling them. Oh my gosh, these are expensive. 25 diamonds for one iron mob farm? Well, I guess I can only buy one for now. Let's go back. So now all we need to do is set up a chest, put the mob farm on top, and now we can put a creature into it. I'm gonna use this spider. <gasps> Ew! And when it's done extracting, it should put <gasps> spider loot in the chest. Now, all we need to do is set up all the different mobs, and then I will have an unlimited supply of mob loot. So I think we should actually start with Possibly the most dangerous one, capturing a blaze, because then I can make my own mob farms. I don't have to spend all my diamonds anymore. I know it sounds crazy guys, but do not worry because I have been busy powering myself up. As you can see, I have many enchanting levels now because Scott helped me get this crazy sword that gives you loads of XP. Flashback. Ah, my levels. <laughs> so how do I get a sword like that? This one has looting five and knowledge of the ages eight. Oh, it's got stuff. I can't take it anymore. Okay. It's too many you know. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so I went and enchanted my own sword so I could go and get crazy XP whenever I want. And I've been using it to enchant my armor so that I hopefully don't die as soon as I enter the nether. So let's find a nether portal and try and lasso a blaze. I'm already scared and I don't even know where the portal is. I just realized that you can actually make your own portals, but I'm gonna do that far away from here, just in case something crawls out of it in the middle of the night. Here goes nothing. Ah, ah. 
What on earth is that doing here? This is not what I expected to find in the nether. Hopefully somewhere close by is a blaze and I can just grab it and run. <gasps> what is that? It's a skinny floating black dog. Oh my gosh, look at it walking around. That's so horrifying. I'm so disturbed. I might actually lose a life here. It's hot here. Oh, I don't feel safe. Oh, what's that? What is that? Excuse me? What was that? I don't want to be here. I don't see a blaze anywhere. <gasps> that thing ran at me. I want to go home. Oh no, it's another dog. Why does it look like... It touched me. I don't like it here and I would like to go home. Oh, yikes. Oh, that's a blaze. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Aha. Right. Well, oh, take me home. Okay. You know what? That wasn't even very scary at all. I was so not scared. Okay. Now let's try and generate some blaze rods instead. Whoa. Are you okay, my dude? Did I get a glitchy one? Oh my gosh, just what I needed. Now, time to make my own mob farms. Okay, finally, now I can add this to my collection and I can start collecting more mobs. So I think the next one that would be really useful is to have a creeper. So I happen to know where there are creepers aplenty, rather unfortunately. I stumbled across this place when I was looking for iron and I thought I would never want to come back here after this happened. Flashback. <gasps> a spawner. And another one. Oh my neck. Whoa, what is that? There's another one over there. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Whoa, no. Whoa, no. Whoa. Oh, oh she's got me. Oh, jeez. Well, that was terrifying. But look at this. There's a creeper spawner. And look, it's active. Oh. Oh. Oh, it just keeps spawning them. Oh my, oh no, it blew up the spawner. I actually kind of wanted that spawner. Now let's get this little beast into the mob farm and it will start producing gunpowder for me. The next day. As you can see, I have managed to collect various mobs and trap them in these farms with minimal injury to myself. And now all I have to do is wait and reap the rewards. So now let's move on to the next room, which I'm gonna put further down the corridor. And in this room, I'm going to build an automatic sheep farm because I noticed that Scott has one and it's amazing. Look at this. Sheep of every color and they get automatically sheared every time they regrow their wool back. So let's go back and get working on a sheep shearing farm of my own. So first let's decorate this room a little bit. We'll go for a green theme in here. So let's cover the walls with this. And then I'm gonna cover the green walls with flowering vines. And since the sheep are gonna be all different colors, I've got lots of different colors of vines. This might look a little bit crazy though. I think I picked a horrible color green. That one would have been nicer. Now I have to replace every single one of these blocks. And if you think doing it with shears will make it any faster, you are wrong. I think these blocks were made specifically to torture me. Ta-da! Hopefully this will make the sheep think of their grassy homelands and make them produce wool faster. Now all we have to do is build the machine over here. So I will follow a tutorial. So I've gathered up all the materials that I should need and now I just have to recreate this build perfectly. Okay, I think it's done. There are clearly no sheep in here right now, but it's time to test it. And I'm trying to get all different colored sheep so that we'll have every color of wool. And now let's hook up the machine and see if it works. So, oh, whoa, they all got sheared. Did it end up in the chest? <gasps> yes. And now my wool farm is complete. And look how much wool I've got already. I'm never gonna need to buy from Scott's shop ever again. I am never gonna financially recover from this. 
Now the next room I want to add to my basement is an XP farm so that I don't have to go all the way to Fwip's house or Joel's house to farm XP for myself. So over here I'm gonna make some bubble elevators so that I can get down into the cavey depths where I shall situate my mob farm and hopefully this is deep enough. Now let's fill up the water elevators. There. Now, I've just created some watery death holes. Why did I do that? I need some soul sand at the bottom and a magma block at the bottom, which means I have to go back to the nether, but that's fine. I will probably be fine. See, everything's fine. <gasps> oh, 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 everything is not fine. How do I escape? Oh, I'm trapped in between two of them. Oh my gosh. This is not what I had planned for my day. I need somebody to come and help me. 12 seconds later. Right. I'll show you what's happened. Oh my <laughs> I need help. <laughs> Please help me. Uh, how can I help? I don't... <laughs> can you put some slime underneath me? Yeah, sure. I'll have to go grab some. One eternity later. Oh, they're gone. What, what do you mean they're gone? They're gone. It's just a, it was over here, right? See if you can aim for this. Okay. Are you ready? Log in. I'll, I'll, I'll record your death if you did not. <laughs> oh. I'm, I can't see anything. I think you're above it. Wait. Oh gosh, no, you're off a little bit. It's it's not loading. It's it's not responding. Oh! <gasps> it's not loading. It's it's not responding. Oh! <gasps> Babe. Joel, you said you were going to save me. But you landed on it. You bounced back up. No! Well, apparently you can't cheat death, no matter how hard you try. And now I'm a member of the Three Heart Club. And all because I was trying to make a bubble elevator. They're a lot more dangerous than they sound. Well, I guess that means I have to go to spawn and move my stuff out of the Two Heart Club. Oh dear. I had this cute room and everything. What am I gonna do now? And unfortunately, there is no Three Heart Club. So I'm now currently club homeless. So I guess I'm just gonna live out here for now in this basic little tent, which I can hopefully build before it gets dark. Ah, this is so horrible compared to the other clubhouses, but this will have to do for now. So let's put the little three heart clubhouse sign. And I declare that that is enough Minecraft for one day. So let me know in the comments below what you think of my foolish death in the nether. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and I will see you next time.